the app ke baad jala gulati spelling premier league app which helps kids with spelling in gamified version hi i'm kimaya and this is spelling premier league one sec Ma'am, we can't see your screen. Yeah. Hi, I'm Kimaya, and this is Spelling Premier League. The art of spelling words correctly has been lost. Social media, autocorrect, and influencers are having a significant impact on our ability to spell. Us teenagers these days make slang out of almost every word in the dictionary, and I have caught myself writing because as cause in my exam. I am addressing this problem by creating an educational app which helps children and adults of all ages improve their spelling skills in a gamified manner. I will be walking you through a mockup of a few of my app screens. The first screenshot shows you the four modes of playing: challenge, which is playing single; duel, which is playing with a friend; tournament, which is playing with strangers; and lucky, which is playing single and learning. The second screenshot shows you how the app works. There will be an audio guide that says a word, and the player will have a limited amount of time to spell it. And if done in the time limit, they move up a level. The third screenshot shows you the leaderboard for the tournament. You will be um, in the tournament. You are depending on the number of coins you have, your your position, and the top ten people get prize money. How the business model will work is that there will be young adults, parents, and children from schools on this app, and we will make money through ad revenue. Ad free subscription and competition entry fee. The market is extremely large, and there are almost two hundred and forty-four million students across India. And I conducted a survey with both parents and adults, and ninety and almost nine uh, and ninety-seven percent said that this app will help those who face difficulty with spellings, and almost eighty-seven percent said that they will use this app. I have made a comparative table which compares two other spelling apps that will fall into the same spelling genre as spe as Spelling Premier League, and the key differences between my app and the others are: on mine, you can add your friends and create a spelling network with them, and there are tournaments in which you can compete and win prize money. My main marketing strategies will be tying up with schools and online learning platforms and conducting sponsored competitions, and I will market this directly on social media and ask users to refer and share the app to their friends. Based on my assumptions, my um, my revenue, my monthly revenue for month one will be four thousand rupees, and by the end of the thirty-six month, I will have a monthly revenue of almost eighty lakhs and an annualized revenue run rate projected to be nine plus crores. I will increase my user base from half a million to four and a half million users by releasing the app in other languages, expanding into other international markets, and adding another topic to the platform. I want to bring back the old art of spelling using new technology. Thank you. Okay, excellent. I think uh, again a very interesting area, and uh, glad to see we're focusing on apps that that help improve people's skills. And uh, again, I've played enough Scrabble and Bananagrams with my kids to know that they need help spelling. So uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll sign them up for this. Um, so let's just go to the revenue again, though. Um, You said there will be some advertising, and were you looking at subscription as well? But yeah, thanks. Okay, ad free subscription and competition entry. So I think this competition thing is very interesting because I think it's caught on a lot in. In so many areas, if you look at more on the cricket side, and uh, whether it's Dream Eleven or Mobile Premier League, you're seeing lots of people create their own leagues and their own competition. And uh, I think actually the spelling bee is one of the few uh, non-physical sport activities that's actually shown on ESPN as a sports event. And so it's actually a it, it's an interesting area to promote. And I I would really think about. Using that competition angle as perhaps a, a a focus area to get people in the system, and so not so much just about improve your skills because again I'm a little nervous about 
like I said, if I told these kids here that, listen, I'm going to get you an app that's going to make you spell better and this is what we're going to do, they may not be as excited as if I say, okay, there's a competition going on and, you know, you could do this and you could show off how good you are, whatever it might be. You might, it might, might be a better way to position the overall uh, situation to just attract people. And uh, have you considered that or how, how are you thinking about getting the awareness out? Um, no, so even I think that the competition um, is like the main USP for this app and that's how I will be reaching out to people like that's the thing that I think differs me from most of my other competition and that is how I'm going to like that's like the main thing that I'm going to use to get people on this app. Okay, and, and I think that if that's the case when you go back to the, the slides the, the prototype of the product, I think you might want to make that more front and center. So I guess you've got uh, you got the okay. You've got challenge, tournament, lucky, and and what's that? Jewel. Yeah. Right. Okay. Actually, that's fair. That's a that's a, a good way to answer. Okay, I think it's interesting. Um, I uh, I, I look forward to getting my kids on the competition and and me as well. Thank you. So Kimaya, I think a great job. Um, you'll be surprised that uh, you know this morning. Uh, one of my friends was looking at an idea on, you know, similar to, um, you know, what you're doing, but the product is slightly different. It's not spelling, uh, but it's to do with, uh, you know, um, almost like a fantasy premier league for stock market. Um, so uh, he's been exploring this idea. And I think what, uh, you know, Sandeep said with respect to focusing on tournaments, uh, I think, especially in India, um, Folks want to understand, they want to win stuff, uh, doing certain things. Um, education definitely is part of it, but I think that is extremely important. I would, I would urge you to basically, again, look at, uh, you know, especially when you're mentioning daily active users uh, and given the fact that there are, uh, you know, uh, channels such as Star Sports and, uh, or ESPN, um, you know, hosting and promoting this, uh, uh, the content, uh, you know, or, uh, for the likes of any kind of content with respect to spelling bees that they are promoting. I think it's important for you to have a section of videos as well uh, for tournaments which are being hosted, which will be extremely uh, important for driving engagement to your app. Yes. So uh, you should definitely consider that if you haven't already, I, or if I may have missed in your presentation, um, yes. I think content is important. And, uh, you know, in, in the day and age that we are in, you know, even for the kids or your target audience, they like watching uh, content. Yeah, so, uh, I think that is something which I, I feel is a miss as of now. If you haven't already thought about it, I would urge you to do that. I will definitely do that. Thank you. Yeah. And I think it's a it's a great market, uh, you know, combining, uh, you know, gamifying education. I think it's great. Uh, 